This episode is brought to you by Paramount Plus. Ewan McGregor stars as Count Alexander Rostov in A Gentleman in Moscow, the new limited series based on the best selling novel. Stream it with the Paramount Plus with Showtime plan. Visit ParamountPlus.com to try it free.
this is like, is this even considered rich? I don't know. I don't even fucking know. But I have a lot of women that watch the podcast. And if, especially if you're in Oklahoma City, the things that I'm about to tell you is some things that you really need to know. <sighs> Before I get into it, y'all know I gotta hit this read a little bit because it's deep. It's fucking deep. One, I'm gonna let y'all come on in. I'm, I'm gonna let some more people join in. I love y'all. Um, Couch Chronicles, y'all in it? I do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8 Central Time. Follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, T-H-A Couch on Facebook and TikTok. My main YouTube, Instagram, and dot com, which is T-H-A Real Estate, A-N-E-L-L, and Couch Chronicles dot No Limits on Instagram. If you want to support the couch, if you're watching on Facebook, you can now send stars. If you're watching on uh, YouTube, if you're listening on Spotify, Pandora, wherever you're watching, you can support the couch by Cash App, PayPal, or Chime, T-H-A Real Estate, A-N-E-L-L. I do got some things to say before I get started with this. Like one, keep making sure that you stream Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify and Pandora. Even if you're listening to it um, or watching it on Facebook or YouTube or wherever you're watching it, please keep on streaming it um, on Spotify and Pandora. There's episodes that you probably haven't even heard. This is episode number 105, season two. So it's a lot that you've probably missed. Catch up on some stuff. Go get my streams up, stream my music, type in J-A-N-E-L-L in any of my singles. I got two albums, like 13, 14, 15 singles, over 25 features. Um, keep streaming that shit, keep running it up. <laughs> um, check on your strong people. If I haven't told you in a couple days, check on your strong people. The people that you fuck with, you check on them. Anybody that's locked up, you make sure that you bite them. If you know anybody that's in the hospital, do a wellness check. That's why I started my podcast. I started because I was held hostage in a hospital out here in Oklahoma City. It was not the business. They didn't let me go. That's what being held hostage is. Um, they tried different medications on me that wasn't even out. Had, they was trying to make my wife make me sign my will. They was telling me and preparing me to die. And telling me that I'm, I, you're not going to make it. And I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> so, make sure you check on your people. Do a wellness check. Um, next Friday, July the 14th, I will be in Wichita Falls, Texas with Gorilla Zoe and Lance Fish. I will be performing. I'm super fucking excited to hit the fucking stage. Y'all know I'm going to be singing Can't Make This Shit Up because we can't make this shit the fuck up. We can't. I'm sick of these motherfuckers out here making you think that or making you believe that what you're saying is not real. No. If, if what you're speaking is your truth, who am I to tell you that it's not your truth? Who are you to tell me that it's not my truth? So, hey, don't look at your people's all crazy whenever they're trying to tell you something. Just don't do it. Um, July the 30th, I will be in Dallas for the Dallas BET Awards. I'm super fucking excited. Couch Chronicles No Limits will be media out there. So if you're in Dallas, come through. Hop out. It's about to be a fucking blast. I am, like I said, sending positive vibes and energy all y'all way. And anybody that was affected by the flood, hit me up. If I need to come out there and help you move some wood, trees, I don't give a fuck, I will. Um, I'm not just saying this, hit me up just for the podcast. No, I'm saying if you're in Oklahoma City and something, some, some damage happened to your house from the flood, from the rain, and you need some help picking up debris or whatever, call Janelle from the Couch Chronicles No Limits and I promise you I will help you. I will come, I will drive over there and I will help you. I'm not kidding. This shit is real. We gotta, we gotta be that help to each other. We gotta be there for each other for real. We can't just be like, oh yeah, anytime she needs some help, hit me up. And then whenever we hit you up, it's like, oh well, um, girl, I forgot to do this. Oh my fucking god. Because I get that. I do that. You got me calling your ass. Because you told me that if I needed anything, you could be there. So. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Paris. Seriously, man. Um, y'all, like I said, follow the pages. Follow anybody that's watching. If anybody's in the comments, follow the person above you. It's all about love, support, and good vibes and positive energy. Um, support the people that, that support you back. 
Don't forget about the people that's supporting you. And I know sometimes we get so caught up in the people that's not supporting us. No, thank you to the people that's supporting you. Thank you, everybody that supports me. Thank you for tuning into the podcast. Thank you. Shit, I appreciate that because you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. There's hella podcasts that's out there that's probably way better than mine. I'm just saying. But I got some faithful ass fucking listeners. I think that's why they listen to me. I think that's why they listen to me. Um, I don't know if you guys are in Oklahoma City, but if you are watching from Oklahoma City, jars are us. Um, one, she makes Jeff's jars filled with like fruit. Um, different things. She made me a vegan Raymond jar. So, um, actually, let me go run and get it. While the, I'm going to start some music. I'm going to go run and get her jar because y'all have to see it. Oh, thank you, Vicky. Thank you. Oh, that's dope. So, this song, y'all already know I'm about to play some appreciate. <laughs> y'all hear this shit, y'all gonna be disgusted, because I was disgusted with all this, and I'm not gonna talk about how, uh, it's a certain person that's getting their booty played with by a tranny, I'm not gonna talk about that shit, I'm not, but, <laughs> I ain't gonna talk about that today, but we do got some stuff to talk about today, <laughs> if you watching on Facebook, share the live, if you watching on YouTube, hit the like button. It's discussions in the streets with Couch Chronicles. Oh, motherfucking God. Now, yesterday's discussion was crazy. So, I didn't reveal any names, but I did post the actual video that the girl has, that, that I had from the girl. Right. So, um, exactly. So, I did post the video. If, trust me when I say I've been, I got so many calls about this shit. I got people that's like, wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? It is. It is who you think it is. I just won't say the name. But it's exactly who you think it is. So. Now, today's juice doesn't have to do with this person. I don't know. And when I know the names, this is some names that I will blast. I will be blasting these names when I find these names out. I'm not kidding. (laughs) I am not kidding. So. One, let me just say this. If you are a woman and you 
go out a lot, even if you go out a little bit, always make sure that you have that one friend with you that will make sure that you feel always make make sure that you have even if your friend don't come with you always make sure that you send your location whatever and let them know hey i'm in such and such this this and that i don't give a fuck how old you are you should have that one person anytime you go out your location is on they know your location at all times it's got to be one person that you have that that bond with that they know everywhere you are because shit can happen, like what I'm about to tell y'all. Now, it's a young lady. I haven't even gotten to speak to her yet. You want to know why? Let me just tell you. I spoke to her baby dad, and this is who brought me to do. Hmm. This is really fucked up, because he was in tears. He was like, you could feel the emotion coming out of his fucking mouth. Like, you could hear it all out of his body. Apparently, the girl went out with her homegirl. They went out to meet some guy. Um, some guy, there's a guy that's in Oklahoma City that's going around uh, uh, doing some, I don't know if it's toting cars. Remember I was telling y'all about a guy that was towing cars uh, and it wasn't supposed to, he wasn't supposed to be doing it, but the police was looking for him. Anyways, I don't know if it's the same case. I don't know. But I do know this. The person has something to do with cars. And um, once I find out the name, even of their brother's dispensary, I will say that. What the fuck? So the guy um, apparently laced the young lady, his baby mom, weed. And she's been in the hospital for five days. Now, that's a real sensitive fucking subject, and I know it seemed like, and I can't make this shit up, I promise. I know it seemed like I got a story for everything, but I've really been through a lot. And, um, you know, the more you watch my podcast, the more you um, stay tuned, the more that you'll learn about me, um, about the things that I've been through, you know, because I done been through some shit. And sometimes, and that's another reason why I love my podcast is because, and it, even the discussions in the streets, I don't give a fuck how messy people think it is. It's some shit that's in the streets that motherfuckers need to know about my shit. Okay? Now, a motherfucker laced her shit, and she's she went crazy. She has not came back yet. She's been in the hospital for five days now. He's still waiting on her to come back, and he said today, he said, I don't know if she's going to come back from this. He said, I don't know. Whatever they laced her weed with, Talking about they got it from a dispensary that's on the south side. I think that's where he said the south side. When I get the dispensary name, listen. Because what the fuck? Oh, my God. And then her friend that was with her. I'm going to have her name, too, because she might have something to do with it, too. Because, well... And another thing is be be careful with the people that you have around you, too. This is somebody that she thought was her friend. And, and allowed, knew that these men was lacing her shit. She has been in the hospital five days, and not in her right mind. He said that he woke up and she had their baby, or his baby, because she... He has um, five kids, and he has um, a few with a, a different person that they they live together or whatever. But or he was taking care of her; she was over, and um, he caught her barefoot walking outside with the baby in his in her hand. You know, and and saying uh, saying things like um, the kids are the devil, like she's literally like her mind is is, is gone. It's, 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 people are sick as fuck. Like, what the fuck will possess, like, people are so sick. 
that they will lace your weave to make you go crazy. Like, they don't even know the, the, the doses of stuff. And they just put shit in anything, and they just give it to you, and you see just off like, what the fuck? That shit is sick. When I was in DHS custody, I was 14 years old. And I went to my foster mom I, up the street thinking that I was, because I went to school with these kids, thinking that they was my friends. And I'm like, okay, I'm about to go over to their house, tell my foster mom. I went over to their house. And we smoking weed. I'm thinking I'm just, I smoke weed anyway, so I was just like, okay, yeah, let me smoke with y'all. I hit the weed, and when I say that, my fingers was this deep in the ground, in the front yard, talking about don't let me fly away. Because they laced my weed with uh water. Listen, that was not a pleasant experience. That was not a pleasant experience. And thank God I didn't lose my mind. Because some people, they take they, they smoke water for the first time and they never come back. See, she said you had it happen to you before and it was your own cousin. That's the fucking shit I'm talking about. That shit is sick. People are sick. People are sick. And, and, and you know, I know y'all love Cardi B, but Cardi B used to do that shit to niggas. She used to drug them. In, in clubs. And some guys used to speak up on it. And people were just like, boy, shut the fuck. Like, making them like they was they shouldn't speak on it. Like, why not? That is fucking disgusting to drug somebody to take advantage of them in any type of way. Whether it be sexually. Whether it be to rob them. Any of that shit. What the fuck are you on? That's not cool. Like I said yesterday, it's a million people in the world... It's a million women in the world that that will probably let you fuck instead of you having to drug a motherfucker and take what you think you need. Like, I'm 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 I don't look at myself like some people tell me that um, they look up to me because of what I did when I caught my shit, and some people be like, you know, I commend you. I don't look at it like that because. I had to do what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, in my mind, I had to protect myself. You know, if nobody else was going to protect me, I got to protect myself. I felt like I had to protect myself. Now, what I said yesterday, I'm not saying, hey, go out and shoot your rapist. But I'm also not saying, just let a motherfucker rape you and get away with it. I'm not. I'm not saying it at all. Whether it be male or female rape, drugging people, all of that shit, that shit is fucking disgusting. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's hella motherfuckers that want to do drugs for real, for real. Why lay some motherfucker that don't even know? And the point, and, and when I got drugged, whenever they laced my shit when I was young, you know what they reason was? Because it was funny. Because it was hilarious to them. That I was in the middle of the motherfucking grass Talking about don't let me fly away. Lifting my own legs in the air, I'm sure, because I just knew that they was going to have to come for me. But didn't nobody, they was laughing. The people that I thought was my friends. When when I'm in this stupid ass high and I'm looking around and I'm seeing people cracking up. And then they face look this close to my eyeball, even though they are all the way over there. But... No, that shit is not cool. Imagine trusting in somebody. And they lace your shit. And you never come back. Y'all, please, please, please send some positive vibes, love, and energy her way. Because, oh my God. That people are sick for real. People can die or be a person that wear that shit. It's really sad and depressing. It is. It is. She literally has been in a hospital. She literally has an after about her own baby. She literally is an older person. And and the doctors, now all they can think to say is, oh, she's schizophrenic now. Oh, is she? That almost makes me want to, uh, excuse me, doctor, do you got something to do with that shit too? Go ahead and salute this. 
because it makes me think deeper than that. It literally makes me think deeper than that. Like, was y'all trying to harvest her organs? What was y'all trying to do? Thank God somebody found her and got her to her people. Like that. This discussion in the streets has been getting deep. Like, this ain't even just about, like, people having beef with people. It's about motherfuckers is really out here doing sick shit to us. When I find out this motherfucker's name, you better believe I will be saying that. I will be saying his motherfucking name. I don't give a fuck. Sue me or not, bitch. The fuck? Yeah, no. Mm -mm. And you know what made the baby daddy come up um, and say something to me today? It's because he watched the podcast last night. And he is, and he was like, I'm sick of these men that's out here taking advantage of our women. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, even women that's doing it too. It's disgusting. No matter what, which, even if you fucking animals, you're disgusting. You disgust me. Like, I don't know if y'all seen on the news, but there are, uh, if you guys drive late at night, I know I do sometimes because I like to door dash sometimes. Um, so sometimes I be out at nighttime and um, you just got to be careful because if you see two cones in the middle of the road, don't you fucking stop. You run them bitches over if you have to. I don't give a fuck. Run them bitches the fuck over, but do not get out your car. People are doing that now, too. They doing that now. They putting cones out so they can either kidnap you or rob you. Either way it goes, you think they about to rob you and, and, and not cause harm to you? So you think they about to just be like, yo, I'm going to need you to get the fuck up out your, you know what I'm saying? Give me everything that you got. You think they just going to say it that night? No, they're going to be like, bitch, give me everything you fucking got. Now. They not going, mm -mm. no, I don't know, but uh, all I know is this, you see two cones in the middle of the road, you keep on fucking driving, if you see anything on your door handle, don't touch it, don't touch it, find some gloves or something or a trash bag, if, if, cause it might be late, you never know, these people are sick out here. It might be laced with some shit that might knock your motherfucking ass out as soon as you touch it. You gotta be safe. If you in the club drinking, you better be walking around like this with your cup. Like, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> oh, oh, you feel me? Okay, do all your dances with the... Ah, mm, mm, ah. Don't, but don't you uncover this motherfucking cup. I don't give a fuck if you doing a uh, in the back. That motherfucker better start filling up your arm. Because your hand is still covering it. If y'all just now tuning in, it's the Couch Chronicles YouTube podcast. Follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, TAJ Couch on Facebook and TikTok. Couch Chronicles Got No Limits on Instagram. My main YouTube, Instagram, and my dot com is T-H-A-Z-Z-E-L-L. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the like button. If you're watching on Facebook, share the live. Also, I can now accept stars on Facebook, so if you're watching on Facebook, send some stars. If you want to support the couch, you can cash that PayPal or sign T-H-A-Z-Z-E-L-L. Y'all, this shit is getting, it's getting ridiculous out here. And we, thank you for the stars, but second week in a row, shout out to Big T. Man, it, it really, it's it's getting ridiculous because we got, it's people out here that's sick. And you can't just fear for the little boys, or for the little girls, you got to fear for the little boys too. You got to fear for the young boys and the young girls. Both, both of them. You know, it's, it's, it's not just, oh, me and my little girl, so, no, it's my little girl and my little boy. Just remember just recently I was just telling y'all about um, my friend Boo. Uh, her son Tamaje just got killed. Shot nine times. In Moore. In Moore, Oklahoma. By another teenager. 
Like shit like that is happening in the world right now. We living in our last days. Right? I'm Lily, you better tell them. We living in our last days. The best friend you got? <laughs> Y'all know that's Lily. Come here, Lily. I'm saying goodbye to her. <laughs> Yeah, Antoine Fisher is definitely real. Y'all, and I don't know if y'all keep up with, like, different shows, what type of shows y'all watch, but do you think I might be able to get on to that fucking podcast or not? Um, I don't know if y'all watch different shows, but some of these shows, guess what? They are the fucking truth. I don't give a fuck if it say it's not. I don't give a fuck. And it got to say based on a true story. Y'all know what some truth in it. It's some fucking truth in it. I know we can't make this shit up. It may seem crazy. It may seem ridiculous. And it may seem like it's just happening. But guess what? It's some fucking truth to it. It's some truth to it. Y'all wanted to stop flooding? Write the government up. They got the motherfucking machine, the weather machine up there, playing and shit. Oh. It's the couch crying chicken. It ain't no fucking river. <laughs> Oh, y'all judging me? Y'all judging me? Yeah, so y'all ain't never seen the Truman Show. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. But just say, y'all ain't seen the Truman Show. You up here looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I was going for this shit. I'm gonna start this one off a little bit low. And then I'm gonna come off a little high. You watching all night? Shadow Live. You watching on YouTube? It's a light. Yeah. I was born for this. I made it through the storm for this. And I always wanted more like this. And I see it, they be watching. And I see it, they be watching. But they what? But they really not supporting shit. But it's okay, cause I'ma make a way. Make a way. How to bend. Down for the count with all them lonely days. So I'm used to gray skies and rainy days. And I know some people tired of what I'm spitting. But I spit it till I fade away. Promise I'd have some crazy days. My life's a movie, you can see it. No commercials or no lazy ways. This take the life that I chose. But I want more for it. The only reason why I handle it is cause I'm chose for it. Nah, for real. Nah, for real. So I have a problem If you do not come correct Just don't bother I will not stop I'm a guess That's the options <laughs> Yeah For real though I can't wait to That's the motherfucking you. options I'm all gas And no motherfucking breaks right. Why? Yeah Cause, Cause it's, it's the life, life for me, me. Uh-huh. I was born for this I made it through the storm for this And I always wanted more like this And I see that they been watching but they really not supporting shit. I was born for this. I made it through the storm for this. And I always wanted more like this. And I see if they be watching. Hey. But they really not supporting shit. Nah. They ain't. I mean, they act like they do, but they really don't. No. 
know what the deal is, so. It just goes on for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know it, cousin. <laughs> follow Lee Graves, Mary Marie. These are some dope-ass artists. Follow everybody that is... It, Freckles the Barber. What? what Freck, I'm talking about Freckles the Barber. And anyway, y'all. Follow everybody. Follow the person that's above you. It's all about love, support, good vibes, and positive energy. Now, let's get back to this interview. What did y'all think about yesterday's episode? So, a recap of what I said earlier is, yeah, a recap of what I said earlier is, you know, um, be careful who you have around you, um, be careful, just be careful, it's important, it's so hard to just be out and just, you know, whenever you just want to just kick it and just, and you can't even do that because there's so many things that's going on in the world, motherfuckers is, is being conniving, vindictive, and, and disgusting, and, and sneaky, and what the fuck is all of that about? Like, if you have to take something from somebody, you one of the ones I feel like deserve to, like, yo, it's fucked up. Cool. I just, I don't like stuff like that, you know, and, and, and it rubs me the wrong way. Not only does it rub me the wrong way, it's, especially if I've been, I've been through it myself. And some of the ladies that's watching, they've been through it themselves. You said you still want to know the name. See, if you really pay attention to the to the um to the reel from last night, you would know who Lil Live is about. I just can't say the name. But um I did say that the lady that um that was involved, she had went off on me at first. But she did apologize to me yesterday after that live, you know. Um and she thanked me. So, you know, um, one, I'm any lady, any woman, any girl, any little boy, any man, if y'all tell me that you have been touched sexually the wrong way, I believe you. I'm not questioning nothing that you just told me. I believe you. I do. And and it might sound fucked up, but like I said last night, I cut off my own neck and I will cut off anybody. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't do rapists. I don't do pedophiles. I don't do, you know. If you are a person that likes to drug people um, and take advantage of them, I don't like that. I just don't. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, being in DHS custody, I, I was in DHS custody. So, you know, being in DHS custody, we've been around people that, uh-uh, I'm actually lying. We've been around people that, take advantage of us after we've been taken out of a situation and supposed to be put into a better situation. My foster mom, her son kept trying to touch me. And when I spoke on it, instead of her believing in me, you know what she did? They sent me to a mental home. So what I did was I tweaked my meds for two months until they let me out. And when they let me back out to that foster home, I went back with a smile on my face. And I busted every fucking window out and got kicked out within 30 days. Just to give you a fucking idea. Because I couldn't believe that after I'm speaking, I'm telling you that this man, and you gonna tell me, ah, he 40 years old, he don't want your young ass. And I'm telling you, I'm 14 years old and this man is trying to touch me and you telling me that he don't want my young ass instead of trying to protect me? You gonna send me to a mental hospital telling them I'm crazy? So shit like this is a sensitive subject for me. Like, I might not have been drugged in a club, but I was drugged at the motherfucking mental hospital. I didn't want them motherfuckers. They was giving me medication that was making my eyeballs shake this fucking hard. Like, I literally felt like I had an albino. I literally felt like I was an albino. Seriously. I felt like my eyeballs was shaking. I couldn't move. I'm talking about I was drooling all over myself. 
I couldn't even think straight until the lady taught me how to cheat my medication. The nurse. Because she knew they was overdosing me. She was like, oh, God. I, I want to take her to the room. She took me to this room where I was by myself. Thank you. And she was teaching me. But I was so fucked up. It was like I was hearing her and I was seeing her. But, ugh. but it was just like, I could. if she wasn't there, I wouldn't understand what she was saying because I was so fucked up. So one day I decided to try it, you know, when she wasn't there. I tried it, and, and it got me sober enough to where I was able to keep doing it and perfect it. Man, I was in prison cheeking my medication so motherfucking tough from, from nurses that you couldn't get to. I'm talking about I would cheek open, tongue up, what's up, and still have the motherfucker up above. Don't play with me. Yeah, I got such, I got to be such a motherfucking pro at cheeking my medication. But I didn't want to be like that. I didn't want to have to. They was giving me 800 milligrams of Seroquel. And if anybody knows what that does to you, bruh, when I say I was knocked the fuck out, eaten, when I say I got up to 300 pounds, like I'm not kidding. I was big as fuck. I'm talking about I was so big my wrist was like this. You hear me? I had a fatitude on a daily. A fatitude on a daily, but... I was really like on some fuck everybody shit. Once I started cheeking my meds and learning how to cheat my meds, because even whenever I got out and went to my foster home before I even bust her windows out, she told my son, come take your medication. Take my, oh, so you trying to put me to sleep? Nah. Mm-mm, no, ma'am. Matter of fact, I, I'm going to keep it real. I didn't just bust her windows out. I bust her whole neighborhood's windows out. I didn't give a fuck. Y'all didn't believe me. Y'all put me in this hospital for two months. And then, y'all separated me from my sister. And at the time, me and my sister were so motherfucking tight. That I was just like, uh-uh. You separate me and my sister, and I'm not going to be the same. And I wasn't. I was not the same. I was not the same Janelle that I was when I first went into DHSA. I wasn't the same Janelle when I first went to prison. I wasn't the same, and you know what I'm, I'm not the same Janelle now. You know what I mean? Like, life is about true change, and I always, I said this in the beginning video, this year is about true change and true elevation. Seriously. So, I've elevated over the years. You know, the person that I used to be when I was a kid, oh, when I before I was bad, I was not, not, I was angry. You know, I was getting abused at home. Um, you know, it just was, it was a lot going on. And then I went from being abused at home to being abused in DHS custody. So it was like, I could win for losing. And every time I would be getting fucked up by either my foster parents or my, my father in my head, I just would keep telling myself, okay, Janelle, you can just kind of relax now. You know, we're going to tell you in like 10 minutes, 20 minutes from tops. I would be self-talking in my head. So I gotten so used to self-talking that whenever I found out that I had lupus, I was so used to being in pain that I I didn't really pay it no mind. I didn't find out. I um, The prison knew in 2009 that I had lupus. I didn't find out until early 2014. So I was just so used to masking my pain and acting like everything was okay that it seemed like nothing bothered me. It seemed like pain was just, I was just abused. Everything that I've been through, everything that I have to endure, I had to keep self-talking to myself to, to pull through certain situations because if I wouldn't have self-talked, I don't know where I would be today. Um, and some people would say, oh, you talk to yourself. I do. Sometimes out loud. And I even respond back because I'm a fool motherfucker that talks to somebody. So I be talking to me too. And um, you be coming up with the little shit. If you're just now tuning in, it's the Couch Chronicles and it ain't gonna fuck with Leonard. I do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8 Central Time. Follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, T-H-A Couch on Facebook and TikTok. Couch Chronicles dot No Limits on Instagram and my name, YouTube, Instagram, and my dot com, which is T-H-A-U-L-Z-A-N-N-E-S-S. Yeah, I ain't got no problem with talking to myself. 
shit, I had to talk to myself my whole life. My whole life, that's the only way I was able to get this shit to VHS or something else. I'm talking about, I went to almost every, almost every shelter you could think of. I'm talking about in little bitty towns that you would not imagine. Like, I swear to you. Like, like little bitty fucking towns. And I just, once they separated me from my sister, I just was like, fuck that. Um, I'm busting out windows. Um, I'm running away from here. I don't give a fuck if... I'm going to make it to where I'm going to go, wherever I'm going to go, to love one, but I'm not going to be there. So, it's time. I stayed in somebody's backyard for two weeks because I was not going back. I'm not going back to that motherfucker. Mm-mm. So, and I felt like that. I was just like, I'm not going back. And I'm sure them people, but if it wasn't snowing, because it was just snow. If it wasn't snowing, I'm sure them people would have knew I was in their backyard. It was snowing. They weren't worried about coming back there. It was a big-ass dog house that I stayed in. Going back to the shelter, <laughs> so yeah, that's why I said you keep watching the podcast. You gonna learn some shit about me because I done been through some shit. And anybody that comes onto this podcast, we gonna get to the bottom of whatever they've been through too. Like that's how you get to know people. You know, building a bond on a different level is something else. When I first got out, you know what helped me the most? It was uh, an app. Matter of fact, it was a Twitter app. They used to have a lot. Periscope, when I say I, I, lo- I literally built a family from Periscope, and them motherfuckers went through some shit with me, like, it was dope, it was dope, so, um, some of the people that I met on Periscope, they still rock with me to this day, like, they literally still follow me, keep up with me, blast my music, share my music, they fuck with me, so, it's just, I don't know if y'all even know what Periscope is, Periscope might be too old. <laughs> I got some more music for you. Like, I mean, I do got more music. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I was looking for a certain song. Because my cousin is on the live, y'all. Make sure you follow Mary Marie on all social media. Hey, I see you, Miss Crystal. It's the Cal Chronicles. There ain't no fucking limit. Just keep watching on YouTube. Hit the like button. Hit the watch button. Make sure you share the live. You can always listen to this all the time. Ain't no limit. Let's go. I'm on some bullshit, bullshit, and I'm a plan. And I'm a make it way. Show me that you got that kiss, yeah. Let me show you some yeah. way to force shit. Million dollar plan. And I'ma make it way up top and I don't need a hand. Cause they gon' 
I see any problem, I'll tell them here, and then we'll walk over to your listen, we got some fucking, what should we do with other phones, though? What should we do? We probably call each other. Call me up. Okay. Y'all, it's disgusting in the streets. If you fucking with the couch, make sure you drop them couches. And I'm going to do some fucking now, I do got some more juice for uh, next week. Yeah, I got to spread this shit out. My inbox is just blowing up. Now, you can you can send me juice. You don't have to be the one to speak on it. So, I don't know. <laughs> and you know what? It's some people that's not going to like me because of that. It's some people that's not. And guess what? I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> Send me the juice. Okay. Since you living, I'm not mad. Like, let's get it out. Now, this juice lately has been a little deeper than I expected. I wasn't expecting it. Um, the guy that actually told me about the information from today, um, once he gets the names and the information, I will be telling y'all on the podcast what man is going around drugging women. Okay. I don't, Lord knows what, what, what he did to her. All they know is she has bruises all over her. They don't know exactly, um, like the extent of what happened yet because she hasn't came back yet. She's been, her mind has been gone for five days now. She's been in the hospital five days now. So send some prayers, positive vibes and good energy her way. Uh, you don't have to know her name. Just, you know, the situation. And trust me when I say them good vibes and energy will get back to you. Okay? I love y'all. I definitely appreciate y'all for tuning in. It's the Couch Chronicles and it ain't no fucking limit. This, listen, I'll see y'all this Friday. Today's Taco Tuesday. Did y'all eat some tacos? Did y'all eat some tacos today? I know I did. So, yeah. I love y'all. It's the Couch Chronicles and it ain't no fucking limits. I will see y'all on Thursday.